welcome to the best time of the year, fall. I am so excited to film this video. It's my favorite video to film. Today's video is my kids' Halloween boo baskets. I am a sucker for a good holiday basket. I make my kids' baskets for Valentine's Day, Easter, Halloween. I don't do Christmas because I feel like it's a little overkill because we do like stockings, all that stuff. But let's go ahead and jump right into it because I'm excited and I'm on a time crunch because my toddler is napping and my kids have early dismissal today. So let's jump into it. So I'm going to start from youngest to oldest. So here is Josiah's basket. He is my toddler. He's one and a half. So here's a peek in his basket. First up, we have a jelly cat. Jelly cats are so expensive, but I had to cave because they are so cute. Like, look at this little skeleton weenie dog. So freaking cute. And I think he'll really like it too because he's into dogs. Socks. You gotta have like a good pair of Halloween socks. It's just a must. I don't make the rules. You need Halloween socks. This year, I tried to make the baskets as practical as I could. So I went for things that I know they can use over and over versus like little quick things that I know they'll be over and done with it and it'll just end up all over the house. You know what I mean? So I tried to make the baskets more practical this year. PJs, you also gotta have some Halloween PJs. I got these from Walmart. It says Scream Team, Monsters Inc. There's the bottoms and these are so soft. I got him another pair of PJs. This one is a sleeper, it has the little grips on the feet. Nightmare Before Christmas, hands down my favorite movie. It's a Halloween movie and a Christmas movie. So I'm excited for him to wear this one. I got him some Velcro booties. He does not keep socks on. I don't know what it is, but as soon as I put socks on him, he immediately throws them and then they're like scattered all around the house. For some reason though, he keeps these on. So he already has two pairs. He has a black pair, a blue pair. So I figured I would get him the brown pair because it's just the perfect color for fall time. So yeah, they Velcro, they keep his feet warm, they have grips on the bottom, which he needs because he's always running around the house. I got him a sippy cup. This is his favorite sippy cup. I have tried so many and this is the only one that he likes. He has a blue one already, so I got him the green one. I got him a little duck. This was the Bullseye's Playground at Target. It's a little pumpkin. For his toy in his basket, I got him some cars. So it's Guido and Luigi. He is obsessed with cars. He actually already has Guido and Luigi, but he has the original one. I tried getting the Halloween version of like Lightning McQueen, Mater, Doc Hudson, but I didn't have luck. People were reselling them for a ton of money and I just was not about it. The last things in Josie's boo basket is books. He loves looking at pictures. He loves flipping through it. He always brings me books to read to him. He actually already has the original version of this one. So when I saw there was a Halloween version, I immediately added it to my cart and got it. So this is construction site gets a fright and it has the flaps. Next up is a Curious George book, another favorite of his. He is obsessed with Curious George. He watches at least one episode every single morning once he wakes up. It's just his favorite. He loves the music. He loves everything about it. So this one is Curious George goes to a costume party. And I did not even realize it, but it comes with a DVD too. So going to have to check that out. That's going to be really cool. I didn't know it came with that. So here's a look at the book. His last book is my first Halloween bedtime storybook, Disney. He loves all things Disney, Mickey Mouse, Winnie the Pooh. It has like Peter Pan in here. It has Wreck-It Ralph, Monster Zine. So that is it for Josie's basket. So let's move on to Jade's basket. Here is Jade's basket. So Jade is my three-year-old. She'll be for October 19th. I got a jelly cat for Jade too. I got her this little pumpkin. I think it's so cute. We have this in here. There's nothing in it right now, but I do plan on going to the store to get the kids some type of candy and then putting it in these. Josiah, I'm gonna get him like some puffs or something. She also got a duck, but hers is a bat. For her cup, she got this 
candy corn one. I think she'll really like that. Halloween socks. Pink ones that say boo with a ghost. These bats. These ones just have moons. And then a black and white stripe for her pajamas. Okay, these are so freaking cute. Who remembers Care Bears? They were like my entire childhood. I loved Care Bears, so when I saw these, immediately just bought them. These were from Walmart. So it's just a bunch of Care Bears and they're all dressed up. So one of them is dressed up as Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein. We got a vampire, a mummy. For her toy, I got her this bluey set. I just open it up so I can show it to you guys better. So it has Bluey dressed as a vampire. This one is dressed as a witch, Frankenstein. And then Bingo is dressed up as a ghost. I got her a pair of slippers. These were also Walmart. These were Wonder Nation. They're kind of like Uggs. And then I got her some spooky nail stickers. It has over 150 nail stickers in here. My girls are really into doing their nails right now. So it has pumpkins witch hat, boo, candy corn, skeleton, cats. The last things in her boo basket is some books. So the first one is a Halloween tree. This one had really good reviews and it seems really interesting. It says, everyone knows most young trees dream of becoming Christmas trees, but one grumpy tree who doesn't like lights, decorations, or people is about to start a new tradition. Get ready to meet the Halloween tree. So it seems like Kind of like a mixture of both Christmas and Halloween. The last book in her boo basket is Room on the Broom. Just a classic Halloween book. So that is everything in Jade's basket. Next up is Aurora's basket. She is my six year old. So here's a look at hers. For her stuffed animal, she got a ghost jelly cat. For her water bottle, I got her this eyeball one. And these were from Bullseye's Playground at Target, if you were wondering. Again, she has one of these. Gotta go get her some treats. I got her the same pajamas as jade girls like to match so i figured she would really love this one too for her little ducky i got her this pink frankenstein one again bullseye's playground her slippers are these like leopard cheetah print i always get those two confused so here's her slippers just a little cozy slippers to throw on around the house. Halloween socks. So hers are pink with pumpkins and cats. And then this one is just striped. Again, she got nail stickers. For Aurora's toy in her blue basket, I got her this Little People Wednesday Adam set. And I know what you're thinking, Little People are more geared towards toddlers, but she loves them. She still plays with them. All of my kids really play with them. I honestly even play with them sometimes. It's based off of the show. Like I said, she hasn't seen it, but she does know who these two characters are, Wednesday and her like best friend. And then for her books, I actually got chapter books. She has been reading more and more and I am just so proud of her and she loves it. She gets so excited. So I got her her first chapter book. So this is Gulia and the Mysterious Visitor. And Gulia making new friends can be scary. So I think she'll like these ones. So that is it for Aurora's boo basket. So last but certainly not least, we have Layla's boo basket. She is my oldest. She is 10. So here's a look at her boo basket. So first up, for her stuffed animal, I did not get her a jelly cat. I actually got her a squishmallow because she's all about them. She has a million squishmallows all over her bed and she actually does not have halloween squishmallows so i know she'll really appreciate this one for her water bottle i got her this iridescent ghost again the little pumpkin for her socks it's a black pair with skeletons all over it and then a purple striped pair for her little duck she has this witch ducky for her PJs, I got her this set from Old Navy. So it's just purple. And then it has cats and dogs dressed up as like little ghosts. Some of them are holding a little like pumpkin basket in their mouth. For her toy, I got her a LOL surprise doll. It's a Halloween one. She also got nail stickers. For her slippers, I got these like Ugg 
Tasman dupes, I think is what they're called. Like the little mini Uggs with the stitching on the top. I think she'll like these. For her books, I also got chapter books, but these are more appropriate for her age versus the ones that I got Aurora. So this is actually a series, but I just got two to start off with to see if she likes them. So I believe this one is the first one. It's called The Power of Poppy Pendle. And then this one is The Courage of Cat Campbell. So that is everything that's in my kids' Halloween boo baskets for 2024. I cannot wait to give them these. I give my kids their baskets October 1st. It just makes more sense. Before I used to do it on Halloween, but it just makes more sense to do it October 1st. That way they can wear their Halloween PJs and Halloween socks all month long. They can play with their toys all month long versus wearing all that stuff and playing with all that stuff after Halloween. So it just gets them more into the spooky Halloween spirit. If you're wanting links to anything, make sure you check out the description down below. I always update my links, especially my Amazon storefront and my LTK. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy fall. I hope you're enjoying the spooky season and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.